It's Croctober and I'm making crock pot lasagna. Hey everybody, this is Amanda from The Beals and today I am making my video for the Croctober Extravaganza collaboration. It's a collab that I created with my friend Lisa at Sutton's Days and we have a whole group of folks that are making different crock pot meals every single day. I have links for all of the great channels that are involved down in the description box including a playlist where you can follow and every day you can see all the new recipes that are being created. So today I'm doing something simple. I am making crock pot lasagna. It's something that we've made for our friends and family on a lot of different occasions. It's really popular for events and it doesn't even take a lot of ingredients. So I'm gonna show this to you and I hope that you will try it. Frankly, I never make lasagna the regular way anymore. I only do it in the crock pot. So let's go get started. So the first thing you're gonna need is one pound of ground beef. I'm using my ButcherBox ground beef, which by the way, ButcherBox is having their sale, the biggest sale that they have of the year where you get two pounds of ground beef free for the life of your subscription if you sign up. So I'm gonna have an affiliate link for that down in the description box below. It's grass-fed, grass-finished. Only 3% of the ground beef in the US is made that way. So definitely wanna check that out. So here are the other ingredients you need. You need eight ounces of ricotta cheese, and then I like a little bit of Parmesan cheese to sprinkle on the top, so we have that. One yellow onion and two cloves of garlic. Then when it comes to the rest of the cheese, usually you would use mozzarella, but I actually like to have a mix of cheese, so I hand shred it and put it in a bag myself. Um, so that's what I have here, but you pick whatever cheese you like. You need about two cups. Then we have about 45 ounces of pasta sauce. Now, I actually got this for 25 cents at my discount store. You can use jars if you prefer, but this is what I got and I really like it. I also got these lasagna noodles at my discount store. You need one box. You actually need really a lot less than one box. It's a little damaged, but that's okay. Then we need basil leaves. I'm also gonna use a sprinkle of that and about a half a cup of water. So you wanna go ahead and start with frying the meat. And while you're doing that, you can chop the onion into a nice dice. And as soon as you're done, go ahead and put that into the beef and let it start to brown a little bit. Stir it in. Then you wanna go ahead and chop up your garlic, just a nice little mince. And put that in with your meat as well. Make sure you stir that in too. Now we're gonna make the cheese sauce and you're gonna start with your eight ounces of ricotta Make sure you save a little bit of your shredded cheese from your two cups to put on top later. We're gonna put in about a quarter cup of Parmesan and a tablespoon of basil. And we're gonna open up our cans of pasta sauce. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reserve one can for later, but we're gonna put two cans into our beef to make our meat sauce. And we're gonna go ahead and stir that together. Now I have everything set up. So I have the cheeses, the lasagna noodles, and I have the meat sauce over here by the crock pot because we're gonna begin our layers. Make sure you go ahead and plug your crock pot in and turn it on high. We're gonna cook it on high for four hours. So we're gonna start with our meat sauce layer. Just put that on the bottom, make sure it covers it well. And then we're gonna play a little game of noodle Tetris. And we're gonna put our noodles in the bottom of the crock pot. And I, I break them up in advance, and then I try to place them so that it kind of covers that whole area of the crock pot. It can be a little challenging, but it's sometimes amusing. Then we're gonna do a cheese layer. And I usually just put a little chunk in and break it up a little bit. Don't press down too hard on the noodles. You don't wanna sink them. And once you have a good layer of cheese, you're gonna do another layer of meat sauce. Go ahead and spread it around. 
Then another layer of noodles. The noodles take the most time. And another layer of cheese. Now this seems like it takes a long time for a crock pot meal, but remember for lasagna, this is actually a whole lot faster. Then our final layer of meat sauce. So there's three layers of the actual meat sauce. Make sure you spread it around. Another layer of noodles. And another layer of cheese. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour our final jar or can of pasta sauce right on top and spread that around. And we wanna take our half cup of water and put it around the edges of the crock pot and put our cheese on top. A little sprinkle of Parmesan and our lid, we're done. While the crock pot is going, I just wanna tell you a little bit more about the Crocktober extravaganza collaboration that we have going on. First of all, we have a Facebook group and I'm gonna have that link down in the description box for you to join. And in the Facebook group, if you wanna come join that every single day, we are gonna be sharing recipes and tips for crock pot, instapot, any kind of pressure cooker and slow cooker that you have. And uh, we're gonna share all kinds of great information, do live events, and we have weekly giveaways. So you wanna make sure you join that. This week we are giving away a crock pot and an accessory kit. You'll find more information about that in the group. So make sure you go down below and check that out. And you'll be very excited to be a part of the group, learn all kinds of great things, and maybe win some prizes. Our crock pot lasagna is finished. It looks amazing. I actually let it sit for about 10 minutes so it doesn't look as gooey, but actually that makes it easier to cut and keep it in good squares. Here I have it all cut up. And I just lifted one little square out and you can see that it looks exactly right for lasagna. Look at how beautiful that is. Let me tell you something, it tasted really good too. I'm telling you, my whole family loves this. Your family is gonna love it too. Look at those little crinkles. Don't you just wanna eat that right up? Crock-Pot lasagna is amazing. We have made our lasagna, it was really easy. I have leftovers and they are in my fridge. You can put them in the fridge and reheat them in your oven on 350 for probably about 20 minutes just till they reheat through. And they're still really, really good, delicious, you'll love them. So anyway, I, am going to remind you to please join our Crocktober Extravaganza group and you can maybe win a crock pot and accessory kit this week. We have, we're have we gonna be giving away Instapots, other crock pots. It's, it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun, so make sure you go join. Also make sure you check out all of the other channels. Again, I'll have their links in the playlist below. And tomorrow we have Jennifer from A Country Life making cranberry chicken. And I actually got to know Jennifer because of you guys. Again, my family went to Wisconsin for my son's wedding. And when we went there, I made a video with my husband about it. And everybody said, you've got to watch Jennifer from A Country Life. She lives in Wisconsin. She has a cranberry farm. You'll totally love her. So we got connected through that, through you guys' recommendations, and now she's a part of Crocktober. And she's gonna show you what to do with cranberries, which I think is really helpful, particularly, you know, cranberry season's coming up. You can get it on sale. And I have never made a cranberry chicken, so I'm excited to find a new recipe. You always need something new to do with chicken. So make sure you go check her out. Again, she'll be below. Lisa, all the great ladies. You won't even believe all the people who are involved. Go check them out. It's going to be fun. This is something good to concentrate on. You will be very excited. So if you're new here, I hope you will subscribe and come hang out with me all the time. And uh, just, you know, have a good time. <laughs> Also, don't forget to like this video. Let me know if you liked Crocktober and maybe I'll do some more Crockpot videos. So, all right, you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.